Hi, I'm Bird, and this is Rathian. I 3D scanned this plush of Rathian a while ago and brought it into Resonite. And what's cooler about it is that when I play audio, it actually reacts. Check this out. This works with any sound source from music, YouTube videos, and even your own voice if you want it to. Now to create something like this, all we need to do is add some components to this object, which you can do with their handy dev tooltip. Now if you aren't familiar with this tool, I made a video about it to give you a quick rundown. Don't worry, it's only 3 minutes long. If you're already familiar with the tooltip, let's get started. I'll go ahead and import this music clip, though feel free to use what you want. Now using my dev tooltip, I'm going to go ahead and choose it by clicking secondary, and then going to open inspector. What I'm looking for in the inspector is the audio clip player component. Right now it looks like I'm on the canvas, so I'll go ahead and tap this button to go up a bit. And here in audio output, tap tap. At the bottom here, there seems to be the audio clip player. If you're working with the video, you want to use the video texture provider component instead, which is typically under the video asset slot. Now this is the component that drives the sound, and what we need to do is get the volume from it. For that, all we're going to do is add a component called volume meter. At the bottom of the inspector here, we're going to attach a component. We're going to go to media, tap tap, utility, tap tap, and right here is the volume meter, tap tap. Now the volume meter component needs to know what audio it's working with, which as you can see here is the source. This is where the audio clip player will go. All we gotta do is grab this audio clip player by grabbing holding it. As you can see, it's in my hand now. And we're gonna hover over here to the source and drop it right there. Now you see when we play this clip here, you'll see that the volume is moving with it. It's that easy. Now that we have this volume meter set up, all we need to do is find an object to attach this to. Personally, I'm gonna use my Rathian because she's such a good girl, but feel free to use whatever object or item that you'd like. So the idea is that I want Rathian to light up with the music, and in order to do that, we're gonna to have to find the material within the Rathian. Once again, I'm gonna use my dev tooltip to select a Rathian and then open an inspector. And what I'm looking for in here is either a mesh render or a skin mesh render. That's gonna be where the material is. All I need to do is click this up arrow on this material and I'll get a material window. I'll set this window aside because first we need to create the component that takes that volume and changes it into color. So once again, I'll attach component. This time we're going to transform and drivers. And here near the bottom, there's a value gradient driver. That's what we're looking for. Now when you tap it, you'll see we'll get a lot of different options here. This component can be used for lots of different types of data. For right now, all we want is color. So we're gonna choose color X, tap, tap. So for this to work, we want this progress bar here and the value gradient driver to be exactly like the volume here. The quickest way to do this is just by grabbing and holding the volume here, going over to the progress on the value gradient driver and letting go. Once you do that, you get a little context menu that says drive. Go ahead and choose that top one. And you'll immediately see now that our progress is matching our volume. That's perfect. Now we're going to set up the points right here. The points we add will drive the color based on the progress bar here. So for now, let's just make it simple and have two points on and off. We'll make the off one first. And as we add our point, it's already made for us. Wow, that was easy. Now we're going to make the on position. So we click add, and this one is going to have a position of one instead of zero. Now on our one position, I'm going to click right here to add a new color. And I want something bright and visible to show that it's actually on. So I'm going to choose this nice blue color here. I like that blue. Now the last thing we need to set up on here is just the target. For this, we're going to bring back that material window that we've been neglecting. And we need to choose a color here in the material that we want to drive. I'm going to use the emission color because usually that's the easiest one to see. Once again, I'll grab this emissive color in my hand here, as you can see. And I'm going to drop it right here in the target. Now that it's all set up, I'll get my Rathian here. I'll grab my music and when I hit play, and really, that's all there is to it. You've got audio reactivity. Now here's some other things to consider if you're not satisfied with the end result here. In the volume meter component here, turning up the smoothing will soften the driver. This is great if you don't want your color to constantly flicker or try to give someone a seizure with the strobe lighting. If your audio is too low or maybe too high, you can try adjusting the power of the volume meter. Adjusting the value lower will make it more sensitive and making the value higher will make it more tolerant. In the value gradient driver, remember, these positions can be changed basically however you like. For example, making this first point higher and then the second point lower results in a way more punchy lighting because the value is changing much faster between the two points now. Also, you can add as many points as you want. With this, you can get pretty creative with some different colors too. You could even use a different kind of value gradient driver to make all sorts of effects too. For example, you could create one that controls rotation or the scale or even something more interesting like a material outline. 
There's so many different visualizations that you could do, and it all comes from the same volume meter component. If you ever need more information, I'd suggest checking out the Resonite Wiki. The community's been pretty hard at work updating it. And thanks for watching. I don't have a good way of ending this video. I never do. How do you end a